up and uh, welcome back to the channel. Now then, today what I'm going to do is a job that's long overdue really for reasons that I'll go into and that is replace these OEM hand guards to the cross tourer. Now if you've got the OEM uh, Honda parts fitted you'll realise they're pretty narrow uh, and not a lot of good at deflecting most of the airflow off your hands which will certainly be an issue uh, when it gets colder. So what I did is I went online uh, and I found a mate called GP uh, and I've used uh, them in the past. I've got the GP hugger on the back and uh, one or two other little bits and bats and by and large they've been all right to be fair. Um, the only downside is they tend to come without any instructions or guidance whatsoever but they're fairly straightforward to work out. However, when I ordered the replacement handguards, these, uh, when they arrived, quickly realised they don't fit. So uh, I sent a message, basically, to uh, the lister on eBay, and I said, look, these don't fit. And they wrote back and said, uh, oh, well, we can't be checking every single item we've got to make sure it fits every bike. And I sort of said, well, hang on a minute. Your listing clearly states that these fit the Honda Cross Tourer, and they don't fit the Honda Cross Tourer. So how many people actually have to fork out money and then go through all the hassle of repackaging the item and sending it back just because you can't be bothered listing it properly? So I actually gave negative feedback, which is really, really unusual for me on eBay. And the only reason normally I'm motivated to do that basically is to ensure that other people don't encounter the same problem because it just ain't fair. Okay, so um, I'll give them the due. They did um, issue the uh, refund and return process. Uh, however, I had to think about it and uh, I think rather than go through the hassle of packing these all up together, taking them down to the post office, queuing, getting the thing sent off, then trying to claim the postage back and all of that malarkey, I thought, I wonder if I can adapt these to fit. So I'm just going to show you now, in lifetime, whether I can actually achieve that. And if I can't, then I'll send them back. How's about that? So uh, stick around, let's see how I get on it. Eh? Right, okay, so I hope you can see this uh, clearly enough now. So to remove the uh, the OEM handguard, it's held in with two Allen bolts, one here into the bar end and one here into part of the clutch assembly. So this one here is an 8mm Allen bolt. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. And here on the other side, this is a five millimeter Allen bolt. And in addition to the bolt, there's like a, a small lug there that fits into uh, a recess in this uh, plastic assembly that's on the uh, on the clutch lever. Right. So as you can see um, from the design of this GP handguard, there's no problem with the lug there. For attaching to the uh, to the bar end, so it needs to go outside the bar end, not inside. No problem there. But when it comes to this part of the assembly here, you can see that the pre-drilled hole there doesn't match up with anything whatsoever on this bike. Nothing at all. But as you can probably see, where I remove that 5mm Allen bolt, there is obviously the uh, threaded recess there for that bolt. And I reckon if I drill a hole into that part there, 
and use a spacer of some description that I can actually get that to work. Now I'll just plug that hole with a rubber grommet. Now these, they appear to be made of something called GRP, which is glass reinforced plastic, uh, which might have something to do with the fact that it, they're called GP, perhaps. But it's glass reinforced plastic, as you can tell by the internal surface. So uh, this stuff tends to be quite brittle. So it's not gonna survive a drop. Um, but provided it remains intact, it, it will provide a lot more wind protection than the uh, than the standard OEMs. So uh, anyway, let's crack on, let's get all drilled, let's get it all lined up and let's see if we can actually uh, make a silk purse out of this here pig's ear. Right then, so let me just show you the solution I've come up with. So basically what I aim to do is, uh, this end of business here, no problem at all, so it's this end of business here I need to take care of basically, and find a way of affixing this ear flange to this uh, M6 threaded um, plastic bracket that's bolted onto the clutch assembly. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going uh, to drill a hole uh, round about there, and then I'm going to use this, uh, this ear black nylon spacer, I've got a partially threaded, a half threaded um, M6 Allen bolt and uh, with that to give me the right spacing I've got a, uh, a washer with a collar and I've got a plastic washer on top of that and a bit same for the other side. So basically in here I need to drill all there into which that collar will fit snugly so let's crack on with that eh? right okay so let's not uh, trust the trial and error for this and so I'm just going to use this here vernier gauge and uh, to get an exact mu uh, measurement of this collar here so I can use the right drill bit so that is gonna be Let's have a look now, how many mils that, so that's just short a 9 mil. So what I reckon is if I use an 8 millimetre bit, because um, that will actually make a hole very slightly bigger than 8 millimetres, that should fit snugly in. So let's put that theory to the test, shall we? Right, okay, so I'm just going to use uh, this spacer here as a guide. So I'm getting as close to the flat area of this profile as I can. And I'm just going to mark it with uh, any old drill bit here, just, uh, just so I know where I'm going to be drilling. And uh, contrary to what I've just said, I've just realised that my drill bit set is in uh, half millimetre increments. So I'm going to go with an 8.5 millimetre drill bit because that vernier reading on that collar was... Uh, round about 8.5 so there we are Right, okay, so uh, there we go. Uh, so M6 Allen bolt, plastic washer, sleeved washer, insert, whatever you want to call it. I've just done, I had to do a little tiny bit of fine tuning on that hole. It was a tiny bit too small, so with a round file, just a, uh, a tiny bit of the tuning there, and you see that fits in there. Perfecto. So, if we align that up thus, We find that, uh, from an alignment point of view, everything looks all right there. So let's crack on with spacer.
see what I did there, I tried to kid on the, uh, that were an, uh, an alignment check, I'd forgotten to put spacer in, they are uh, fessed up to that. Now, fingers crossed we don't run out of thread on this partially threaded bolt. Because if we do, we'll have to look for another one, but that looks all right. So we're just left with uh, this bit now. In with the bar end. Should have put that in first, shouldn't I? Tell you what. Do it thus. Be careful. Yeah, that's looking all right, actually. So. In she goes. Okay, and I think the final tweak on that uh, five mil bolt. There, and last job. Bear with. from my little box of assorted grommets which look like Pontefract cakes if anybody knows what they are Baby One M7.14 Sounds about right Let's just pop that little baby in there yeah, maybe, maybe we need can we get away with a bigger one? No, no, I doubt it. That's going to be all right. Just an aesthetic thing, really, to make it look less obvious what we've done. Clutch fine, nothing fouling. That's a stainless steel bolt, so won't rust. And all right, how's about that then? Oh, we can't say that anymore, can we? Anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, silk purse out of the sows here. So I uh, managed to get them to fit after all. No thanks to the supplier, like, but anyway, managed to get them fit. So other side, obviously, exactly the same. So hope that's been of some use. Way. All right, just a little edit here. Um, I had a rummage around and I actually found some red countersunk anodized washers that uh, pretty much a perfect match to the paintwork of the bike and I also located some M8 uh, countersink allen bolts and so basically I took out the the black bolts and replaced them with uh, what you can see here which is the uh, the anodized red countersink washer with the appropriate allen bolt and uh, I think you'll agree uh, that's a, a much more appropriate finish so uh, if you do have a, a bike that colour or any other colour you might want to uh, invest in some of them there washers and uh, just finish it off nicely okay thanks for watching I'll see you again soon till then ride safe and uh, above all be kind <laughs>